and then we're going to create another one and that is obviously going to be transition left there we go and the sprites we're going to use for that is 36 to 40 and 16 good so whoops um that is the one from my demo project so yeah we're going to create this um so let's click on our uh our turret and let's just name this turret and let's create a prefab so we don't lose everything so let's call this turret and drag the turret over to the prefab so now we have our prefab here so we are going to create the animator thing so, um, let me see, I have a reference picture here, so I know what I have to do. Alright, so open up the animator by clicking window, and where is the animator window? So I have it down here. So let's, um, uh, yeah. So the entry shouldn't be this, um, Hmm. Let's name this turd underscore sleep. And that is called sleep zero because we already have one and it should start at sleep. Okay, so let's drag under the animations and turret. Let's drag turret underscore sleep. There we go. And for this one we're going to call this turret underscore what the f what what was this was what was this oh my god wait a minute why am i messing up this uh what was it ah uh, wait a minute guys oh yeah it was wake up so uh let's call this turd underscore wake up and let's drag the wake up animation we just had to switch those because the entry should be wake up, uh, should be sleep instead of wake up. So, um, let me just open my reference picture. Uh, so, sleep. And uh, just not zero here. And we're going to add some parameters here. And we need a boolean called awake. Nice. And then we need a boolean called looking right. So I guess you know what we're going to use these for. So turret sleep to turret underscore wake up. And we're going to make a transition over to this. And the transition is going to have... What is it going to have, guys? Um, <laughs> it's going to have wake up, of course. So when we wake up, we want to wake, uh, play the uh, wake up animation. So, and from the wake up, we want to make another transition to the turret underscore look right. And turret underscore look left. So... We're going to make a new transition here and one to the turret look left. So um this transition is going to be has exit time. We ain't going to use oh uh, I mean yes. Uh we're going to use the look and right uh condition here. So if look and right is true, we're going to set the animation to look right, right? So transition time zero and it has to have a exit time. What does it? Hmm. Let me just try this out. So can can we see? Can can we see our C? Let's see. And awake. There we go. And we are looking right. No, we are looking left. What? What? Uh. Hmm. Have I missed something up again? 
turret look left? Which one? Oh, uh, turret look right? No, I'm just... What? I guess I'm tired, guys. Um, was it right? Should look left. Yeah, it's it's right. Oh, I'm just I'm just tired, guys. But uh, <laughs> this is right. So uh, it was cool. It was nice. Um, so now we want a transition from turret look right and turret look left. And for that, we're going to use the transition animation we created. So, um, the way we're going to do this is by uh, using something called exit time in these uh, transition uh, things. So, let's make a turret transition left. Yeah, like that. And just make those transitions between them. So, for this one, we're going to uh, say if it is awake, uh, then uh, and we are looking left, then transition to the transition left, and this is going to take the exit time and no parameter because the exit time does. We can set a exit time which, when this animation has played for this amount of seconds, it will continue to transition to the other animation right here so when we when we are awake and we're looking left we want to transition to the left oh all right i'm messing up my words but i hope you get it and then here we are going to say awake and looking right is true and then we're going to Set the transition time here. Yeah, it looks all right. Um, just remember to set the transition duration to zero, so there isn't any delay. Uh, there we go. Amazing. And then we are going to have fall asleep, uh, which is going to have a transition to sleep. And then we're going to have a transition from wake up to fall asleep because YOLO <laughs> and uh, wake up should be false. So when wake up is false, we're going to fall asleep. We're going to play the animation where it goes down. And then we're going to use exit time again where um, it's going to take the time and then go to the sleep animation. Okay, so we need some arrows more from turret look left and turret look right. All just going to be uh, awake is false. I hope you can follow along. Alright, that's fine, I guess. So let's try to play and see if we have any problems. We are awake and we are looking left because this is false. And if we take it it apparently only take a little bit of time and that is because this error right here the exit time is too low so let's set the exit time to something like 0 0.6 i guess that should be awesome so 0 0.6 Nice. That's that. That looks cool. And and the transition time here is too low. So let's set that to be bigger. Like maybe one second should be nice. And hmm. exit time should be a little higher here because it's. Yeah, that, that looks nice. And also here. So, now we have our animation set. Which is nice. So, I guess that was all for this part of the tutorial uh, for the turret. We set up our animations. And for the next one, we are going to program it. And that is going to be nice. So, um... <laughs> 
thank you guys for watching i appreciate it um make sure to stay subscribed uh like this video uh yeah uh, donate if you want i'm not uh, saying you should but thank you guys <laughs> goodbye <laughs>